Hey, what's up everybody? Mark from Tech Talk America here. Today, I'm gonna to give you an introduction to Google Drive. So if you've never used it before, this is the perfect class for you. Today, I'm gonna to start by showing you how to set up your own Google account, and then we'll quickly set up a very simple Google document, followed by showing you how to share those documents or files with your friends, and then we'll end with showing you how to set up Google Drive on your local computer so you can sync everything back to the cloud and have access to things wherever you are from your mobile device, your computer, or whatever. So I think you're really gonna love it. Let's jump into an introduction to Google Drive. To get started using Google Drive, the first thing you need to do is to create a Google account. Now, if you already have one or if you have a Gmail account, for example, you can skip to the next step. But if you don't, you can start by going to accounts.google.com slash sign up and you'll see a page that looks like this. Simply fill in all the fields there. When you get to the bottom, click next step. Next, click continue and you'll be taken to a welcome screen that looks like this. Now I want to show you how to access Google Drive and many of the other apps that Google has available for you. Go to the top right corner of your screen and click on the little grid of dots and you'll see a bunch of options and on the third line you'll see Drive. So go ahead and click the Google Drive icon and it's going to bring you to your Google Drive page. If this is the first time you've been here, it's going to show you a couple of tips that scroll by here and you can skip through them really quickly. But the main one I want you to see is that you get 15 gigabytes of free storage for things like photos, documents, and also your Gmail. So for a lot of you, this is going to be plenty, but if you need more space, you can buy it very, very cheaply from Google. So since this is the first time we're using Drive, there's only one document sitting here, and it's a PDF from Google that gives us a little bit of an overview of the different things that Drive can do. So you can check that out, but we're really going to go over all of the main features here in just a moment. So now that we're in Google Drive, the main thing you want to get used to using is this great big red button that says New. If you click on it, there's going to be a drop down and you'll see different options of things that we can start with from here. For example, the first thing is that we can create a folder. We can upload files. We can upload an entire folder. We can create a Google Doc, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and other things as well. Let's start by creating a Google Doc or a Google Document. Now, a Google Doc is essentially the same thing as a Microsoft Word document. It's just made by Google instead of Microsoft. So when you open the page, you'll see something very similar to Microsoft Word. For example, across the top, it's got your font choices and bold and underline and italics and left and right justification and number and bullets and all the same things that you're used to seeing in a basic Microsoft Word document. So just to get us rolling here, I'm going to create a fake document. I'm going to insert some filler text and then I'm going to add a title to the page and make it bold and make the text a little larger. And this is very much how you would typically use Word or in this case Google Docs. And most of you are already familiar with how to make a document. But here's one of the really cool things about Google Docs. If you'll see right up here, it says all changes saved in Drive. And Drive saves your document every few seconds. So you're already safe. You don't have to go up to file, save, or anything of that nature because it saves it all the time as you're working. Now, of course, one of the first things you'll also want to do is give your document a name. So if you go to this field on the top left corner, if you click there, it's going to try to guess what title you want to use by taking the first line of the document. Now, if you don't want that as the title, you can always click in this area and type whatever it is you like, and it will save it as that name. One last thing I'll mention really quickly here is the ability to star a document. All that means is that if you click the star, it'll put it in a special folder called starred, and that way you'll be able to find any of the documents or files that you starred more quickly. So you can go ahead and close this window and we'll go back to our main Google Drive window. And now beside the getting started file, you'll also see a using Google Drive document that we just created. So if you were to double click on that, it would open up and you would see the document just as it was when we left it. 
So once you start using Google Drive and creating different documents and uploading different documents, you're probably going to want to create a folder structure very similar to what you would normally use on your computer. All you need to do is go over to New and go down to Folder and then give your folder a name and you'll see your new folder appear there on the desktop. Then all you need to do is drag any documents that you'd like into that folder. Again, exactly like you would on your computer. Then again, just like on your computer, you can click on that folder and see whatever's inside. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to add files to your Google Drive. So in this case, there are two different ways to add files to your Google Drive. The first way is to go click on New and go to File Upload, and then you can simply choose the different files that you would like to add to Google Drive. The other way, which is the way I use most often, is to open up a Finder window, and grab the different files that I want and simply drag them and drop them over onto Google Drive. Now I want to take just a minute to point out to you that if you want to store files in Google Drive, it does not matter what file format they are. You can store anything you like in there. So as you see, I've got a PSD, which is a Photoshop file. I've got a PDF. I've got a DOCX, which is a Word document. And I've also got a Pages document. And all of those will store just fine in your Google Drive. You may not be able to edit them from Google Drive, but you can store anything you like. And Google Drive can actually edit a couple of these, like a DOCX or a Word document, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. But you can store anything you like in Google Drive so that you can access it from somewhere else. So in this case, all you do is select the files and simply drag them over and drop them onto the Google Drive desktop, and they'll automatically upload like you see here. Now I'll show you a quick example of how Google Docs can actually allow you to open a Word document and edit it and then download it back again as a Word document or save it as a Google Doc. So for example, here's a syllabus from my son's uh, school a few years ago. And as you see, when I click on it, it will just open up and will convert into a Google Drive document. And I can make changes, any changes that I like to the text. Then I can go up to download as, and I can download it as a Word document, or I can of course save it right here as a Google Doc, or I have a number of other options here, including a PDF and plain text and some other things. But you can choose to save it or download it in a multiple different formats. So one of the really cool features about Google Drive is the ability to share a document or a file with anyone else. Now there's a couple different ways to do that. The first way is to go up and click on the little link icon there. And when that pops up, you get a bunch of different options on how you would like that link to be shared. For example, let's say you want to email a link to somebody or iMessage it to someone. Right here, if you click on this little down arrow by anyone with the link can view, you can also change the options of what that person can do with that link. For example, maybe you just want them to view it but not to be able to edit it or maybe you want them to edit it, or maybe you just want them to comment on it, but not be able to actually change anything. You can change those options right here, and then when you get the options the way you want them, you can click the copy link uh, button right there, and it will copy to your clipboard, and then you can paste that link wherever you'd like to use it. The other option is to click on the little icon of the person up there, and honestly, it opens up the exact same window, so I'm not totally sure what this is for, but there at the bottom under people, you can enter someone's name or email address and then choose the same editing options and then click done. Now the next part I want to tell you about is probably, at least in my opinion, one of the cooler features about using Drive because when you download Google Drive for your Mac or also for your PC, it allows you to sync any files that are in a particular folder up to the cloud to your Google Drive account so that Everything in that folder on your computer is also mirrored over in your Google Drive account. And it's a fantastic way for a quick and dirty kind of backup. It's also a great way to be able to access all of your files from any of your devices whenever you need them. I use this all the time for business uh, so that I can retrieve any files that I need from my phone or from my laptop or from my desktop 
anywhere I'm at, I can go on vacation and still continue working. Not that I work on vacation. Yeah, right, I do. But that's one of the greater things about using something like Google Drive because all of your files are available anytime you need them. So let me show you how to install Google Drive on your Mac. So if you're already on this page, just go down to the bottom and click on Get Drive for Mac. And then you'll be taken to this page right here and just go over and click on Download for Mac and then Agree and Download. It'll ask you where you want to save it. So in this case, I just chose my desktop, but you can probably choose your Applications folder and then it'll start downloading. When it's finished, you can just double click on that button there below and it will open up and ask you to drag the Google Drive app into your Applications folder. Then you can just open up Launchpad and click Google Drive. And it will come up with a window that says Meet Google Drive for your computer. Click on the Get Started button in the corner and sign in with your Google account. And from here it's just going to show you a couple of pictures indicating how Google Drive works. In this case, Google Drive is going to create a folder on your computer called Google Drive and you'll be able to access that folder from any device just like we talked about earlier. So go ahead and click Next. This next graphic indicates that you can share files from anywhere on your computer just by secondary clicking and going down to Google Drive and then Share. And then finally it shows you the little Google Drive icon in the top right of your taskbar at the top. And if you hover over that you can see the latest items that have been synced and you can also open your Google Drive folder from there or go to Google Drive on the web. So don't click Done yet. Instead, go over and click Sync Options. So this is really easy, but it's also very important. So the two options there are to sync everything that's in your drive to your computer, in which case that obviously means that however much space those files take up, you'll need that amount of space on your device. Or you can sync only specific folders, and if you click that, it'll give you an option to click which folders you would like to sync back to your computer. For me, I sync everything that's in my Google Drive folder, but you can do whatever's best for you. Once you make that choice, then click Start Sync, and then your Google Drive folder will pop up, and it'll show you the things that are currently in your new Google Drive folder on your computer. And of course, what do we see there? We see the folder called Google Drive Tutorials that we made earlier and the Getting Started PDF that we started with. Now a quick note, whenever you see a green check mark next to an item, that means that that item has synced back to your Google Drive account. So if you see something that doesn't have a check mark next to it yet, it's probably in the process of syncing. But in most cases, since things like documents and small graphic files are very small, they will sync very, very quickly. The only exception to these rules might be video files, which are quite large and might take a few minutes or longer. But once that green check mark is there, you know that you're good. Now, of course, if we go ahead and open up that Google Drive Tutorials folder, you'll again see all of the files that we were playing with earlier still right there, but this time, not only are they on my Google Drive account in the cloud, they're also here in this folder on my computer. So that's the beautiful thing about syncing with Google Drive to your computer. Everything exists both on your computer in that folder and also out on Google Drive in that same folder. So here's one last view that I want to show you. In the left side, you'll see a Google Drive Finder window that I have opened up, and that's my Google Drive folder on my computer. And then below that, I've also got a uh, window open with my desktop view. And then over here on the right in my Google Drive Online window, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder called Tech Talk America. So you'll see that as soon as I create that folder on Google Drive on the web, within just seconds, you'll see that same folder appear over on my computer in that window over there. Then I'll go ahead and open that folder in Google Drive on the web, and I'll drag over four different files and drop them right here. Those will take just a couple of seconds to upload, and then you'll see that if I go over to my Google Docs folder on my computer and open that, you'll see that they're already there and synced back to my computer. So I can add files from Google Drive, and they will sync back to my computer, 
Or in the same way, I can also do something on the Google Drive side on my computer. For example, maybe I will delete a folder or delete a file and it will disappear on the Google Drive side. So everything syncs and mirrors the behavior both directions. So this is a fantastic tool to keep all of your different files that you need for work or whatever synced in all the different places on all your different devices. So that's all it takes to get started using Google Drive. I think you're really gonna like it, so jump in and start poking around because there's a lot of other features that has that we didn't go over in today's class. If you enjoyed this class, check out our website or the rest of our YouTube channel because we've got hundreds more classes just like this that I think you'll really enjoy. Also, hit us up on Facebook at facebook.com slash techtalkamerica2. That's all we have for today. Class dismissed.